My name is Raphael Acosta, and I'm a criminal justice major at NJCU. I chose Francis Bacon because I've always been interested in his work for a very long time. The first time I seen Francis Bacon's work was in 1989, Batman by Tim Burton. I kind of like this one, Bob. Um, ever since then, I've always been fascinated by his work. Francis Bacon's work has been influenced by two different artists. Uh, one of them is Pablo Picasso, and the other is Diego Velazquez. The piece that I chose to speak on today is called The Study After Velazquez's Portrait of Pope Innocent X. This piece is very aggressive, violent, and morbid. Bacon uses quick strokes with his brush to give it the energy and the aggression that is presented. The darkness and contrast with the white, bright yellow, and purple give it a haunting feel. The motion of the piece gives the impression that the subject, the Pope, is descending. The screams of the Pope adds to the power and the intensity of the painting. The frame of the painting traps the subject and shows no way out. Francis Bacon's obsession with Velasquez's portrait of Pope Innocent X led to a series of paintings based on this portrait. In this piece, I believe Bacon is critiquing the position of the Pope. I believe that the image of the Pope created by Bacon is the Pope suffering and descending into hell. Bacon is using all the features from the original painting that the original painting used to represent the Pope's power and royalty as an ironic twist in his suffering. In a later painting, Bacon shows the Pope, the same Pope, staring into a mirror but a man named George Dyer staring back at him. George Dyer was a criminal of the time, and Bacon is establishing that both men are one and the same. <laughs> 